Hey everybody, Pete Weitzel here, the Wargaming Strongman, talking about tactical reserves today. Um, so with tactical reserves, I don't really know much about them. Um, again, never playing a game of 7th edition. But from what I'm reading and from listening to other players talk about 7th edition, there was a big problem with uh, like drop pod spam and demon summoning spam. Like Those were probably the two biggest things I guess I heard over and over again. So... It seems like with the new rules that they have on tactical reserves, a lot of existing units are going to have their original capability, which I think is good. They're keeping, they're not changing anything too much. Um, but it seems like they've also included um, some restrictions, specifically on match play or competitive play, whatever you want to call it. Um, a lot of the, the abilities and whatnot are going to transfer over to a degree, but um, there will be restrictions you will have to pay points costs for anything you will have in tactical reserves, whether that's going to be demon summoning or uh, drop pods or any of that kind of stuff. Um, so it'll be kind of carry over from Age of Sigmar, where if you want to have anything summoned, you have to, or have anything in reserve or uh, a sideboard or whatever you want to call it, you do have to pay the points cost ahead of time. So it's in your total points cost for the army. So if you have you know, a 1500 point army and you want to have 500 reserve points, that's 500 from your total list. So your total list other from, for non-reserves is a thousand. It's, it's going to be from what I understand from listening to other players talk is it's going to be a nice addition to avoid spam more so on the competitive or match play aspect. In the narrative aspect, it seems like they're kind of a bit looser on it. Uh, they're they're letting you play the more narrative way. the The example they cite is Deathwing Terminators, where you know, like a a whole unit can essentially teleport down or a whole army or whatever it is they said. Um, it would it it'll be definitely kind of fun to see and learn how that's gonna work. Again, never playing a game of 7th edition, just listening to the older players and, or more experienced players and seeing what they say on it. Um, so that that's definitely going to be good. It's going to keep uh, a lot of guys from using and abusing and spamming and, and all that. So it'll be good for new players coming in. They don't have to worry about getting spammed and, and just wiped off the board with constant summoning or reserves or whatever. So that's all i got to say. Short video on that. Um... Because, uh, again, I don't have much experience with the tactical reserve aspect. I, I don't even really use it in Age of Sigmar. I like to... What I got on the board is what I'm playing with. Uh, I think the only example I use is Wolfric the Wanderer. Um, I have one. I haven't used them in a game yet. But, um, so yeah. I mean, the, some people are going to try and, and stretch that rule as far as they can go. It'll be interesting to see where it's going to get pushed and how far it's going to get pushed. But uh, that's all for today, and I uh, will talk to you guys later.